Doug's still here. I'm still here. Fire's just jetting out. Yeah, it's been a nice couple of hours up here today. In the fresh air. It's been a little bit chilly in the breeze, but this fire's been amazing. It's been really warm next to this tree, despite the wind. You don't have to have a massive fire, people. You see the stones around there? Just keeps it contained. Yes. Golden. Golden. Very therapeutic. You haven't got to really do a lot, people, to get out here and enjoy yourself. I mean, this is burning down a beauty now, look. This little twig fire inside these stones. I've just got to stoke it into the middle so it all burns out. Tom, I've had a fag. That'll be golden. Stones go back in the little tree root, hidden away. Fresh dirt gets put over the fireplace. You wouldn't even know I was here. One day, I hope. <laughs> I don't need to be here. I'm too busy to be here, but I'd still find time to be here. I'm just gibbering now, people. Just talking crap, because... To be fair, I've had a couple of beers. I mean, it is nearly two o'clock, so I've been sat here in the park chilling with the dog with a couple of beers. It's banging. I've just got to deal with that little ember patch before I go. And then we're a done deal. Home for lunch. Home for lunch and sanctuary. If you're lucky to have a sanctuary, which is called a home or a house, because Wow. Despite my situation of unemployment, I'm a very lucky boy to have a very good wife who supports me, nurtures me, provides for me. She's a good one. None of you have ever really met her, have you? You will one day. I'll do a video, I'll introduce you to my wife. And my mum, bless her, because she helps me out more than anyone I know on this planet. Unconditionally, all the time, just supports me and helps me out. Financially, emotionally, everything. She's coming on holiday with me this month. Well, this month, next month, August. August the 11th, we're going away, up to Wales. Me, my wife, my mum. We did offer her mum, but she's very elderly and recovering from a hip operation. and Doesn't really fancy it, so whatever. We're going on holiday. My mum, me and my wife, with my dog and her dog, Jazz. If you haven't met Jazz yet, you will. As well, you my mum. And that's Jack. Jack, say hello for the camera. That's Jack. Good boy. And uh, you'll be seeing Jazz as well in August, when we're away in Wales. I'm hoping for some epic walks with my mum. The last walk I took with her on Christmas, uh, we took the dogs out for a walk. The lead got tangled round her legs and she smashed herself up pretty bad. Not good. Not good at Christmas. I felt so bad. This this time round I'm gonna make sure she doesn't end up in bloody stitches in hospital. So fire's almost dead. Silky boy. He's the stoker of fires. And he is tip. You don't want to heat him up and distemper his steel because. He is the tree cutting boy. But let's uh, stoke that in there. Have a quick fag. Job done. And these silky pocket boys, honestly, I don't know if you can see that properly. Pocket boy, silky boy. It's like you can see my hand. It just folds up. It's so small and it cuts everything. And I mean, Everything in seconds is vicious. Don't worry about carrying a knife. That'd do more damage than any knife on this planet to anyone. But you can carry that in your pocket because it's a folding pruning saw. But you can't carry a Rambo knife. That is a Rambo knife, by the way, people. You can't stitch the edges on that cut. Just saying. The law's fucked. Have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.